with the economy the way it is, people are spending less money either traveling or on luxury goods. They'll still spend a little money on a nice meal or buying a quality, quality product at a specialty food store or Whole Foods. Um, so I think that's a big part of it. And um, people are just more aware of having gardens or maybe raising chickens or having uh, beehives for honey. I know people have, are doing that. You know, I really think the people who love to eat could have coined a better word than foodie. I mean, it just sounds like somebody sits around and eats all the time. But it's supposed to be somebody who loves the connoisseurship of flavors and tastes of different cuisines. And they are very, I think, open-minded. And they realize the relationship between culture and food is one and the same. And to get to know one, you have to taste the other. But I will not eat a bug. One day my mom tried to make chili. Um, and she just threw ground beef in a pot and some tomatoes. And she goes, OK, this is chili, right? And I go, no, mom, because she saw on TV, like, hey, they're making chili. And she, like, threw stuff in a pot and, said, and called it chili. And, I, and she didn't see, and of course, she doesn't watch the rest of the episode. She didn't know they didn't need a chili powder and cumin and all that stuff. That was just, uh, worst thing ever. <laughs> My grandma's the one who actually uh, taught me how to cook. Well, attempted to, and then I eventually did learn um, years later, but... Uh, she was the great cook in our family. She would make like things like sauerkraut from scratch because we're we're a Polish descent, and she uh, she made a few really good Polish dishes that I just didn't appreciate at the time when I was a kid. There are certain establishments that are chain restaurants that I will not mention that I won't even eat at. So you know when you're broke or you're in high school and you don't know any better. But as I've gotten older, and I've explored my neighborhood more, you get to know what an actual taco is supposed to taste like. And tacos are not supposed to be crispy. Those are taquitos or flautas, it's not the same thing. They're not supposed to have orange cheese on them or lettuce or sour cream or any of that stuff. Anyone who has been around this area and who really loves this area will tell you there are just certain hallmarks. So today is market day, so it's farmer's market. It's the Santa Monica farmer's market. So very few people know. I mean, there's a lot of, I come in contact with a lot of foodies and they're, you know, they just kind of go out, they go out on Thursdays. It's kind of an in night, you know, but really you want to do it on a Wednesday. Wednesday is the day. Although there's farmer's markets all over Los Angeles, uh, every, any given day of the week, Wednesday is the big one. And Wednesday is the best one. It's the, it's just, the best selection, the best fruit. You can walk the market and just, it, it's, it's incredible.